Hello, in this video, I want to give you a quick uh, update on GMAP uh, with Google Collab. So I recently released a new version uh, of GMAP and now it's fully compatible with uh, Google Collab. So you don't need to uh, restart the kernel after you uh, install the package. And there will be no uh, warning messages. So in this video, I'm going to show you quickly, go through the step how to use that. If you go to the GMAP uh, website, gmap.org, and uh, let me turn on the dark mode. So you can click the open in Google Collab uh, icon. It will take you to the example notebook. So from here, uh, but you need to sign into your uh, Google account. Once you have that, uh, just control slash to uncommon uh, the first line and then just uh, press shift enter, run anyway. You should be able to run um, this line of code and then to install GMAP. So in the past, uh, because I include the JupyterLab um, uh, dependency and it has some conflict with uh, uh, Google Collab. So sometimes after you install, it's going to show you some warning messages uh, at the end, ask you to restart the kernel. So it's quite annoying. And since uh, um, the latest version, I have removed the JupyterLab uh, dependency. Now you, you see it's done and there will be no more warning messages and you can just simply import. Uh, you don't need to restart the kernel anymore and it just works so you but you need to authenticate do the same thing so uh, i'm just going to e -E initialize uh, equal to force uh, sorry i don't need to sign in and just going to show you that uh, you can directly uh, import the map uh, you can use the ipy uh, leave that uh, Protein back end, or you can use the volume. You see, it just works. So now you no longer need to uh, restart the kernel, and um, you can try it out uh, with your own uh, notebooks. And there are also many other notebooks uh, on the website. So you're welcome to uh, try that out. Okay, hope you like this one, uh, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.